And then it turned out to be shark infested custard. Ew. How are you? It's been ages since I've been here. Uh, I'm I'm good. You? Yes. New I, haircut. New haircut. Uh, I got savaged by an Austrian barber. Um, <laughs> he was brutal, um, and he's growing back now. Right. Let's start with IFSC stuff because it was a packed week in Innsbruck. So here's all of the highlights. The IFSC bouldering competition made its final stop of the year in Innsbruck, and first up, it was the men who took to the stage to see who could get their last gold of the season. In the men's, it was a tight contest, with the Japanese and South Koreans strongly representing, with two of each athlete in the final. It was South Korea's Do-Yeon Lee who clinched the silver. He had a chance to win it going into the final boulder, but he needed a top and could only find a zone. Next up was the American Colin Duffy. A top on that final bolding put him in a strong position for gold, and on his fifth attempt, he managed to top out in dramatic style. Japanese climber Yoshiyuki Ogata needed a flash on the final boulder to take the win, but he could only manage his own, giving Colin Duffy his maiden win on the boulder tour. In the women's, the final had a familiar feel to it, with America's Natalia Grossman, Japanese's Miho Nanaka, and Germany's Hannah Moyle all gunning for the top spots. Nanaka was lying in sixth place going into the final boulder, but she topped it out on her second go to jump up onto the podium, taking bronze. For the second week in a row, it was Germany's Hannah Moyle in a shootout with Natalia Grossman, needing something special on the last boulder. Hannah managed to top it out on her second go, and she sat and waited to see what Natalia could do. Natalia Grossman incredibly flashed the final boulder to take her fifth gold medal of the season, one in which she has completely dominated. The opening event of the lead season, and we saw some dramatic performances and the return of a champion. Janja Garnbrett had not competed on the IFSC circuit this year since Maringen in Switzerland in order to focus on training for the lead. She destroyed the rest of the field, finishing with a score of 39+, plus, 12 points ahead of silver place, which was taken by Sheon So of South Korea. Brooke Rabatou took bronze, just beating Laura Rogera due to time, not countback. In the men's, history was made when American Colin Duffy became the first male in history to take both the boulder and lead titles at the same IFSC event. He climbed powerfully and finished ahead of his compatriot Jesse Gruper, who took bronze, and Japanese's Ao Yurikusa, who took the silver. The paraclimbing made its return in Innsbruck, making for an awesome spectacle as there were 14 categories more than ever before. B. Visually impaired. RP, neurological or physiological impairment, AU, amputee upper limb or a limb deficiency, AL, amputee lower limb or limb deficiency. In the men's B2 final, Japan's Sho Aita took the gold, topping out the route in style. In the women's B3, it was number one qualifier, Britain's Abigail Robinson, who took the gold, flowing up the route in excellent style. Women's RP2, Dina Evik of Norway battled hard to beat the rest, falling halfway up the wall, but still managing to take the gold. Men's RP3 was won by Italian Alessandro Neri, who took the victory on a hard 8A route set for his category. Austria's Jasmine Plank was climbing in front of her home crowd for women's RP1 and topped out in some style. Women's RP3, GB's Leonora Volp managed to top out the technical route to take gold. Team Germany was in great form, with an ecstatic Corbian Frank who won RP1, powering through and falling near the top for the win. Lucie Jarige was the favourite for women's AL2, and she delivered the gold for France. In men's RP2, it was Benjamin Mayforth who won in a very exciting finals. Kevin Bartek of the men's AU2 was on fire. He almost had the perfect climb, just falling before the top. French climber Céline Piret took the gold for AU2, continuing her amazing run of form. Angelina Zeller campused his way to glory in a brilliant performance to take the men's AL1 category. And Kazuhiro Unuma rounded off the night for AU1, fighting the pump and beating the rest of the field. Really exciting finals. Loads going on, first of all. Yes, a lot to unpack. A load to unpack. So we'll have to keep it short because there, look, there is highlights. There's a UKC article you can read with my in-depth thoughts on that. A mm. um, couple of obvious highlights, right? Yanya Gambra and the women's competition. <laughs> yes. Every single woman pretty much fell like immediately, like straight away. It was yeah. a combination of a super hard route and mm -hmm. that was mainly it and some tricky conditions. Right. Yanya said she had to fight for the first time. Okay. Cruised it. Uh, she won. Yes. And interestingly, and I can reveal this because it was done on the broadcast, 
There was a um, there was a test event in Germany the week before. Okay. Molly was telling me this, and apparently for the simulations, Jan, you climbed all the women's routes, mm -hmm. then turned her attention to the men's routes. Oh no! Climbed all the men's routes. No. So like she no was way. basically doing men's style standard routes. She's at that simulator. level. She's at that level. So she had a very hard route, didn't top it out, but took the gold. So awesome to see her back, Colin Duffy. <gasps> yeah, I mean that Boulder final was. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful to watch. And then, what, a couple of days later, getting the gold in the lead? Yeah, exactly. And the, I, I said to, to Hugo, who was, was around the event, that there was something special about him this week. Right. I, I, I don't know what it was, but I did predict it. I'm just saying. I'm you just predicted saying. I predict, it. I did genuinely. This is the only time I ever got it right. But I thought, and I didn't say it, apart from to Hugo, I was like, watch Colin. I think, I think there might be something about Colin. Okay. And he was. Okay, he was okay. just on another level this weekend. So it was awesome to see him. Uh, I was a bit gutted though that Yanya didn't actually compete in the last Boulder Cup. Yeah, well there was because I was... teased it last week. I was like, they did say she was like, there was you know, she signed up. Yeah, there was internet rumors she was signed up. Right. When I spoke to the Slovenian coaches, they said that they didn't have time or something just got in the way of taking her off that form because okay. you can deregister. But honestly, yeah. like not many people do. Okay. Um, were there any mind games being played? Who knows? Oh, who knows? Oh, you're you're dropping that bomb. I'm reading okay. between the lines. I mean, I just you know everyone was talking about Yanya. Um, yes, and obviously the I, I hyped Yanya maybe being at the boulder, so mm. she wasn't eventually just doing lead and looks dominant. So whatever she delivered, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right from comp climbing news, I'm moving on to some multi pitch in the Dolomites. As reported on planetmountain.com, Federica Mingolla climbed Bella Vista, a route that crosses the impressive overhang on the Tre Cime di Lavaredo. The route was established by Alexander Huber as a rope solo over a period of four days in winter of 1999, and he later freed it in 2001. The hardest pitch is in the region of 8B plus slash 8C. Federica tried the route last August and knew she had a good chance to send it. And this year she got back on it, and after only one day on the wall, she climbed all the difficult pitches free. In a classic alpine fashion, a storm came in and it rained a lot, but it didn't stop her to come back the next day, and sore and tired, she sent it. So fun facts! This is the third female ascent, mm -hmm. after Sasha Di Julian and Bobsy. No way, that's cool. And so like triplet. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, the first time she tried it last August, remember she had like that un very unfortunate uh, incident that yeah, she, she broke, broke both, both her heels. heels yeah. That was like a couple of days after, you know, this realization of like, okay, I can do it. Yeah. And then she broke her heels. <sighs> but I mean, what a crusher. Yeah, she always is. Awesome yes. news. Uh, talking about crushing, let's check out a Mellow exclusive. Melo have done it again, dropping an 8C plus slash V16 first ascent by Numura Shunichiro. The video shows that in just three sessions, Numura was able to send it. It's located by the riverside and it's a granite block creating a perfect board style boulder. It starts off with an awesome jump where he's holding on to some minimal holds and he uses all of his core tension to stay on. It's just five decisive hand movements on what looks like to be slopey rock above a no fall slab. Are we sure this is like a new first? Because you know how Melo do that thing where they drop stuff afterwards and we all go, oh my goodness, have you seen? And then we realize it's like six months old and we've I know. made a mistake. I came down this morning. I was like, is it new? Is it not new? It, it looks... Uh, you think it's new? I think it's new, as in it has been climbed recently. Right, and it's new shared news. It. It's new news. Yes. But third is set, like third, three sessions to send a V16. That's pretty good, eh? That's pretty good. And uh, the root name, sorry, I didn't read it. Why are you it. getting these fun facts? This is my story. No, I know, you, it's your story, but I wrote it because no, you needed continue, to go get camera continue. gear. Continue. The boulder is actually called Gakido. Uh -huh. that, that's probably how you don't say it. But uh, that, according to xnarutofandom.com, it means uh, that... Gakido... the definition of fun fact here, by the way, but carry on, carry <laughs> no, on. No, it's... Have you not watched Na... 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 Naruto? Naruto as a child. No, it was never. On, it was on TV when I grew up. Okay. It was like that... Anyway, and Gakido grants the user the ability to absorb chakra in any form using the blocking. Thank you. So it's a... It's yes. a safety... Feature power thing <laughs> to stop onto animes. the Norfo slab. I think it's a cool name. I like it. And thank you for the fun fact. I have trial climbing news from the UK. 
As reported on UKC, American climber Anna Hazlitt, aka Anna Hazelnut, sent another striking line, the Walk of Life, an E9 6C. This marks the first female ascent of this bold line put up by James Pearson on Dyer's lookout slab in Northern Devon in the UK. It took her just six days to work the route and later sent it the first time on lead and placed all the gear on the seventh day. She has previously climbed an E9 once upon a time in the southwest, but besides being the same grade, the walk of life has a bold start and a reachy crux. The ascent was captured by Alistair Lee for this year's Brit Rock Film Tour and said one of the most impressive pieces of climbing I've ever captured, total control and immense concentration over such a long, complex and serious pitch. Fun facts! The route is 50 meters long, mm -hmm. so just a good time, you yeah. know? Because it's just, it, it keeps on giving, right? Yeah, yeah. And she said it took her 45 minutes or more because she obviously milked every rest. Mm -hmm. So that's for sure going to be an interesting video because probably for Alistair, it was like easy to film because he had time to jog up and down, to jog yeah, up there, and down, yeah. and get all the angles. And she was just there, yeah. you know. I mean, that route is, is, is obviously super famous because it was the world's first E12 when James Pearson initially did it. And then there was that oh, whole- Oh, was that one? Yeah, yeah, it was that one. So there was that whole drop. So it's one of those routes that has all that history to it. So it's mm, wicked. I didn't realize done. it was that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So read up to it, read into it if you haven't got that. Uh, right, okay, I've lost all track of what I'm doing. So I'm just, hang on a sec. The, the Oh yes, pink lightning, pink lightning. American climber Courtney Arno has done pink lightning ultra 8B, a boulder located in Northern Arizona. She's previously done five 8A pluses, all of them in the last 13 months. What's even more impressive is that she only started climbing in 2016, and it wasn't until 2019 that she began climbing outdoors. This kind of a story always gives me like inspiration, of course, right? But a fair amount of like jealous hate and rage. I have met so many climbers recently who have done amazing things really quickly. Yeah. And you just think like, why are they so much better than I am? <laughs> it's like, how do some people do that? She was born in year 2000 though. Oh. So it was, maybe it's that energy from yeah. like the new era. like. Go crush. Yeah, it's just, it's, I mean, I met a gymnast the other day, like ex gymnast who've been climbing for two years, climbs 8B. Plus. It's like, oh my God, it's, it's amazing. But I, you know, die inside a little bit. Yes, but congratulations, feel, yeah. uh, Courtney. Awesome from you. Amazing. She's kind of a mystery, though. Like, she's not that much on social media and stuff like that. Underground crusher. They're out Underground there. Crusher. They're everywhere. Mm, right. Um, is, is that it for you? No, 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 no. Oh, we yes. need to talk about Oliana. We do. Super update slash. We filmed this show on a Tuesday and mm -hmm. the news came out uh, while we were filming the show. But basically, from what we read, from what we heard around, the rock has been damaged. Yeah. I've heard big massive part of, chunks have fallen off it, being yeah. burnt, that first layer. Yeah. And, and uh, then I spoke to a mountain guy that lives there in the area and he said on the 7th of July, so in a week, uh, some geologists are going to the cliff to analyze and yeah. properly analyze the bits of rock. But on uh, on another note, obviously, it has been damaged. The bolts have been oxidated and burnt, uh, and the quick draws all need replacing because there were mostly fixed draws. Um, but before all of that, even there's a whole big cleanup job. And Svana, I'm saying her name correctly. Yes, yeah, Svana. Svana yeah, started a crowdfunding campaign, so you can find the link down below to that. And uh, yeah, let's let's help each other out. I don't yeah, know. it's such an iconic place where like all those roots yeah that's it i mean look we, we they need help there is that crowdfunder the situation is still fluid at the moment so we cross our fingers and hope that, that whole the whole climate community recovers from that so check out the link should we go out and help out we could go up and help out yes we could maybe film it i don't know climbing daily in oleana the cleanup we'll see look we'll see we'll see 9b counter <laughs> Now, T, long time ago when I left this show to go and wander around Europe uh, talking about climbing, I asked you to get a very simple spreadsheet listing the nine Bs because we have been outrageously lazy. And you said something like, yeah, I'll sort it out. I'll do it for next week. So how's it, go how's it going? Are we, have we got a little... We, ha we haven't got a job yet, have we? I disappointed you once more. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. 
Sorry. I had a feeling it wouldn't get done. I just look. It's also I didn't want to do it either. So but um, it, it, it's summer. Yes. So you know, after work, I went climbing. Right. So every day, I'm so sore. I can't move. <laughs> That's fair enough. That's fair. Enough. We will attempt to get the 9B counter back to its old glory. I'm sorry, but we haven't this week. Right, let's talk about shop stuff because it is the, the summer season sale time. Um, and we've got loads of deals on the Epic TV shop. Yes. These, these sales come every now and again, but it's short periods. And once they're gone, they're gone. So start now because at the beginning of a sale, there's obviously more stuff than at the end of the sale because it's been oh. sold. Sensible, Matt. I like Logical, it. I like it. Right? Um, stats and fun facts up to 60% off. Oof. And then there's also a special Patagonia sale that's up to 30% off. Wow. It's just because Patagonia, you know, that kind of disappears immediately and yeah. we usually don't need to put things on sale. Gone, gone. Um, but now it is. So check out that Patagonia merch. Yeah, grab yourself yeah. a bargain. Content time. And uh, this week on Epic TV, the fourth episode of that Flatanger series is dropping. So here's the trailer. Nice man. <laughs> right, discussion point. Uh, I feel like we should talk about the IFSC because it was a big event yes. this week. I wanted to question how on earth a route setter sets for the women's finals. <laughs> well, how'd you do that? Let's just start off with Yanya's comment of her thanking the route setters for making a challenging and fun yeah. route. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, she was like, for the first time, she was like challenged. She was super happy with it. She climbed in a different way, which was interesting. She started off like slow. You know, Yanya's got the flicks. They're like, pew, pew, pew. yeah, didn't do that because she knew everyone had fallen, you know, low. Of okay. course she would because it happened in about 25 minutes yeah, at finals. Yeah. Um, so she knew it had fallen low. She was super cautious, okay. got to the crux. She wouldn't have known it was the crux, but mm -hmm. I think what she did know is it was the first hard, hard sequence. Right. Rested in a position I don't think she normally would have. Made the move, sent it, then relaxed. Yeah. But yeah, like, and I asked Molly this question. It's like, is it not depressing? If you're a top woman, right? Mm. And Yanya is climbing, what, it was 10 points above? Uh, no, yeah, uh, 13 something yeah, plus. I, I know I should know that, yeah. I was there. But um, oh. I forgot. But you know what I mean? It's like, how do you compete against that? Yeah. And, and are we in this position where now, is it a Yanya needs to make a mistake for everyone else to win? I mean, let's not add more pressure on her because she released enough interviews saying, you know, that the media and stuff puts pressure on her. Yep, sorry, and Hopefully sorry. we're not really part of that. Um, but how, how that... We're just saying what everyone's thinking, her. though. What? We're just saying what everyone's thinking. Yeah, that's true. We're summing it up. Yeah. Um, but I think this year, as you mentioned, also the lead routes have changed. Yeah. So maybe with that change, we'll see it. We'll see the routes change. We'll see the athletes also get up to that level and understand this change in dynamic in the lead routes. Well, how do you mean by change? Because they're not changing. They're they're not changing for World Cups. So they're changing for the the scoring system is changing. Yeah. But the 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 lead routes will be the same. It's okay. just the scoring system for the combined oh. and the potential Olympics that will be different, and that might affect it. Sure. But the World Cups for this year certainly they're not the same scoring. No, no, they're exactly the oh, same. Okay, never thing. mind. Oopsies. No, no, it's fine because it is complicated. And it's good you said it because people are asking all the time. Okay. Um, but it's like she she's just been climbing for the lead, right? Yeah. She's not. She's not impossible to beat. Shanso was very good. Yeah. As are all of the women. This is the thing. But it was a big statement from her, mm -hmm. and she's of course the favorite for the rest of the season yeah so she's like, doing the rest of the season come on matt give us the she's doing the reality rest, we're talking she's about she's doing this. the rest of the lead season yeah so all okay. of it um and i think you know she might do the european champs boulder i haven't seen the registration for that all right in munich so don't know uh but yeah it, it was interesting and i think it's worth talking about yanya's dominance like that because it was special to see her come on did, did you predict it did you think she was gonna have it i didn't want to jinx it yeah because of the weather, the temperature, you know, it was like, I also didn't watch it live. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I felt I so bad. I did not have to watch it all live. Yes, I watch. Well, you know, when I can. Yeah, yeah. Why not? It's fun. Um, 
but uh, no, I don't want to jinx it. But then when I refreshed the app and I just saw that gap in the points, yeah. I was like, what happened? Like, what happened? Yeah. I, I don't I just, I was, No, I was shocked. But on, I think the other argument is whether in reality, you know, in the future, we'll actually just see men and women compete, like, compete one against each other. It's a discussion point for sure. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Okay, comment of the week is sent to us by Tim from Slovakia. Uh, this is a banger. Take it away, Tim. What is your comment of the week? My comment of the week is from Tyler, who put a uh, a twist on the awful Oleana thing. Um, not making a joke of it, but yeah. I think Yanni was crushing La Dura Dura so hard the cliff spontaneously combusted. <laughs> I think I it mean... was the wildfire. Um, <laughs> but like, yeah, that was that was my comment. Just stood up, just because like his awful such a bad, terrible incident for our yeah. community. Uh, nice to see someone trying to make light of it in there, but obviously we are all devastated by that one crowdfunding link down below crowdfunding link down below uh my comment is from amaori miranda and she said switzerland is so nice but it's so expensive <laughs> i'm swiss i can only agree to that so uh, expensive so expensive so expensive, so expensive. Oh. but the climbing is so good very good it's and excellent. there's so much and there's everything you know from like four thousanders to little really hard boulders <laughs> <laughs> yeah fair enough we pay for that wonderful climbing mm. uh that's it we're done i yes. think so fini cool we'll oui. be back next week for all of the news make sure you subscribe and we'll see you soon